Hey, what is up, guys? It is Rohan or S Gaming R here, and today I have another infamous two playthrough for you guys. So this is part 13 or mission 11, and this is right where we left off after completing Desperate Times, which is the mission where you meet Nyx and go on a massacre around Numerays, blowing up banners and other awesome stuff. And right here, I was just having some fun knocking all these civilians over. Sorry, <laughs> it was entertaining at the time. Um, but you will get some new coordinates for a new mission. And right there, I just had the biggest fail ever. It took me like one minute to get the blast shard because every time I jumped up to try to get it, I would either hold on to the boat or the railings above it. Finally, I just finally I remembered to hit circle to jump off. Anyway, enough about that. That's just gonna make me seem more like a noob. Um, you will run into a militia squad if you're running the direct route over there, which I did. I think luckily I don't die this time, but I do kill a civilian. Un or take out his leg or something, unfortunately. And yeah, our finishing moves are getting better. We will unlock some cooler ones. One where you even take the amp and latch it around the guy's neck and do like a 360 spin around him. So that's around part 20 or something. Uh, that one was pretty epic. So anyway, continue after defeating the militia group go ahead and continue on and i keep seeing this mission pop around everywhere masquerade i might as well just do it every single like time i have a new coordinate or every single time i just see masquerade the side mission next to it but i think i'm gonna finish all the story mode before i i think i'm gonna finish all the good story mode and then i'll do an evil walker to get the rest of the trophies and then i'll do all the side missions I might even, um, I'm not going to upload any of the side missions. I'm just going to upload the whole walkthrough for all the uh, uh, story missions. And then I'll maybe do UGC missions. So anyway, we are here at the mission start. Storm's coming. And go ahead and start that up. Looks just like home. Cole? Get your hands up, you deviant subhuman homo sapien! You join the militia? Oh, it's more like a Zeke Dunbar. Double agent. You get it? I'm a spy. For our side. Right. Oh, ye of little faith. Well, my face been shaken before, Zeke. <laughs> Thought that was water under the bridge. Come on, man. You ready for that blast core? I better not wake up in a militia cage. Come on, man, I got your back. Hoo-hoo, Zeke of Little Faith. I think it's because he betrayed us in Infamous 1 when he wanted to get his own powers. So anyway, we absorb another blast core, and we are only 5 left away from using the Rayfield inhibitor. So we unlocked the Ionic Charge today. And basically what that does is um, go out, go over and head to, head to that squad of militia, that those red... Uh, Marks on the map next to the circle. Just jump off the building. Right here. Or you can just long distance them. Whatever you want. Uh, once you take them out, the last guy will have this purple glow over him. So let me just take them out first. So I can show you. There's two guys and there's the last guy. That purple glow, once you walk over him, you'll collect that. And right next to the karma option, you'll see a little that purple circle. That means you have collected an ionic storm. So go ahead and hit the down button on the D-pad. And you will launch an ionic storm. Which is insane. Like tears everything in your path apart. It's a one hit kill, obviously. And it just wrecks everything. So anyway, that is the mission. I hope you enjoyed. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel and look for part 14 next.